In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this kind of amazing paper fly animation very easily using After Effects. So without any further ado, let's get started. Create a composition with a 16 to 9 frame size ratio. And then I would like to import these two images. One is a background and the other one is a paper. Import the paper PNG and then scale it down a bit. When you rotate the screen, it should not go out of the frame like this. So scale it down even more. Now reset the rotation value and then add a keyframe on the first frame and then come few frames forward and let's give it a one cycle rotation let's have this keyframe on the fifth second frame now drag this composition one and drop it on the new composition icon to make a copy of this composition now let's animate the position place the image on the left and add a keyframe on position and then come to about five seconds forward and position the image on the right side just as so so that we can get a swipe right animation But here the path line is linear. Let's make it a bit curvy to make it look more realistic. Right click on the starting point and go to keyframe interpolation and change the speed and interpolation to Bezier and click on OK. Now we get two handles on each pointer and just adjust the path. And right about on this frame, add another keyframe. Now select all the keyframes and press F9 to easy ease and then go to graphs. And adjust the graph as shown here and make sure you're on the speed graph so that right when the paper comes at the middle it has some slow motion it gets more time rather than rushing out very quickly so yeah here we go this is what we have got as of now now go to fx and presets panel and search for the cc cylinder effect and just drag and drop it on the layer and then immediately we get a curvy paper effect like this yeah it looks good you don't need to change anything here i mean it looks already good and real but if you want, you can customize it. Open its rotation properties and right when the paper enters the frame, add keyframes on X, Y and Z rotational values and now press U to open the keyframes and then right at this frame, add the keyframes again. And now come to the first keyframe position and let's give it some random rotation values. Make sure the rotation values are negative for the first keyframes. And then come to the second keyframe position and give it some random values. But this time, make sure the rotation values are positive. Now place these keyframes on the first and on the fifth second frame. I forgot to add the background. So scale it up until it fills up the composition area. Yeah, it looks much better now. Now let's have some more paper copies. So duplicate the composition layer and then offset them as shown here and then scale them down but here all the papers have the same kind of rotational movement tweak the rotation values so that these papers will have a different kind of rotational movement do the same for this composition as well Let's offset them even further and also tweak the path line. I forgot to mention that so that each paper will have a unique rotation. And after that, place the OG paper layer on top of every layer. Now let's scale it down a bit and adjust the path line if needed. Now let's make it more spicy by adding the shadows, add the drop shadow effect. Increase the distance and adjust the softness to about 35. And you can choose the shadow direction according to your needs. And finally adjust the opacity of the shadow. Yeah, it looks good. Copy this drop shadow effect and paste it on other two composition layers. So yeah, here we go. This is the final preview. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you so much for watching.